Hey guys, welcome back to Honey Money HG, and this is the official November 2021 BTO analysis where I'll go through the unit types, sign map, and loan financing for you so that you don't have to. This time round, we are reviewing the Kalang slash Wompo BTO, and if you have not checked out my earlier site analysis and location review, do check them out in this link over here where I went through all of them right there. So, with all that said, let's cut to the chase and go to the official BTO review. Let's go. Okay, folks, welcome to the Kalang Wompo November 2021 build to order. This time, the project name is called Ken's Heights. So, Ken Heights will be served with an 8 story multi story car park. So, that's just a really high multi story car park, right? Even though it's quite a small project site, right? We only have 430 units of 2 room flexi and 4 room flats. It will also feature a 500 meter jogging track. So, that's the existing jogging track that I talked about in my earlier video. Huh? You can go and take a look at it. And it's located with Thin, large greenery and central green as well as rooftop gardens at the top of the precinct pavilion so that's just a really nice greenery later we'll take a look at the site map so estimated completion date at around fourth quarter 2026 estimated waiting time around 54 months so that's like four to five years selection period between jan to september next year and for two room flexi type one we have 30 units type two we have 124 units and for four room we have 276 units okay i went through the town map in my earlier video you can take a look at it otherwise we will just move on to the site plan so let's take a look at the artist impression first so this is the first look of how your can heights will look like very futuristic sharp ages right i think that's just a perception image and this road looks like the highway the cte central expressway so it will be blocked by this multi-story car park so there won't be a lot of noise going to the residents which is good for the lower floors right but for the higher floors you will still experience your noise from the expressway traveling into your house so that's something to take note of if you are living on the higher units so this is another view from the internal area so we have some shelter over here as well as some amenities right later we'll take a look so this is the rooftop garden that they are talking about very nice right just on top of the shelter very nature like okay and let's go on to the site plan proper and this time we take a look at what are the facilities and amenities first right so we only have two room and four room flats we have children's playground fitness station for adults and elderly precinct pavilion with roof garden at the second story we have some future amenities that is not planned yet we have a childcare center later we'll take a look so a residence network center all right so take a look at where's the childcare center first number eight so number eight is over here block 55a number eight so this is where your childcare center would be located at so not a lot of units are we only have this few four room units and we actually only have one block number which is 55a highest floor is around 31st or 32nd story so it's like an angled design right so for four room we have 276 units total of 430 units if combined with two room flexi so for four room we have these few stacks all along one residential block so this is more like the multi-story car park block and over here is your central expressway so your multi-story car park will help to block some noise away from the central expressway which is good right because you don't want your unit to be facing the central expressway if not you'll be exposed to more noise and air pollution so if you actually look at the flat density right it's actually quite high you know we are looking at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 units per floor that means other than yourself, you have 13 other units of neighbors walking around your corridor, which may not be ideal for some of you people who cannot accept too many neighbors. Uh. Some of you very secluded and introvert and don't like to interact with neighbors one, right? Yeah, you all won't like this kind of design. But that's just the way it is at Ken Heights. So the only amenity we have is the childcare center and the residence network center. Uh. We don't have anything like a kopitiam or coffee shop, but we do have an existing Pekio market and food center just right opposite the road. So that's where you can get your low-cost food options without burning a hole in your pocket. We also have some existing public housing just right next to Ken Heights. So that will be linked via a sheltered walkway to an existing bus bay or shelter. So there will be some bus services going along Owen Road, right? And behind here is existing private housing. So if you actually want an unblocked view, right, suggest that you take the units facing the southeast direction, which is 208, 210, and 222. 
okay if you're taking units facing the northwest direction not only you have some west sun exposure but at the same time you also will be exposed to the central expressway noise and the air pollution towards it right so that's just something that you want to take note of if you are selecting a unit in Ken Heights Okay, for those who are trying to find where is the refuse chute, the rubbish chute, right? It's located just right beside unit 218, but it's not like a direct exposure. It's like a secluded corner right here. So you won't be exposed to any kind of foul smell from the refuse chute, um, especially when you have those pests and insects crawling through it, right? But for people staying at unit 208, you have to walk a long way to your refuse chute. Uh, so that's just something you want to take note of. Okay, with that, let's go on to the pricing, right? I think you all are very concerned about the pricing and how does it fair against river peaks in the central BTO at Rochor. So I'll take a look at the four room pricing for two room flexi pricing and details right I'll go through in my two room flexi video as usual so bear with me here. Internal floor area for four room is around 90 square meters which is the standard four room BTO floor size and the price is between 511,000 to 660,000 Singapore dollars for the four room flats. Let's compare against the resale flats nearby, right? So resale flats nearby are around 90 square meters as well. But the price is between 630 to 754,000 Singapore dollars. So you're paying like 100K lesser than your surrounding resale flats. And at the same time, you are going to get 99 years of fresh lease. So that's just something more appealing for Ken Heights. Okay, let's take a look at the layout idea. So we only have one floor plan here, no other customization. Now, internal floor area 90 square meters. I believe this will be a standard four room layout, right? So nothing out of the usual once you enter your main entrance, your kitchen is actually behind you on your right. And it's a very rectangular shaped kitchen with the service yard doors and walls. So this time they never hack it away and say it's suggested. Huh? They already build it up for you. And then we have this very typical L shaped living and dining area where people will put their dining table here and their sofas at near the window. So for natural light to pass through. We have two common bedrooms of similar size and we have a main bedroom with an attached bathroom so another common toilet here nothing much to say about this layout is as uninteresting as the usual but i guess he has worked for hdb for many years so they will probably continue to go with this layout and for those people who want to consider some optional component scheme so you can buy from hdb at these prices around five thousand dollars for floor furnishing vinyl strip in the bedrooms polished porcelain floor tiles in the living and dining room as well as internal doors and sanitary fittings at around 3.1k Singapore dollars so they will fix some bathroom doors and bedroom doors for you as well as provide you with the wash basin and the shower set. Totally optional if you want to design with your own home appliances and furnishing then you can consider buying your own and not opting in for the optional component scheme. Now with that let's go on to the income required to afford Ken Heights four room flats, right? Two room flexi will be another video, don't worry. So minimum price 511, maximum price 660. So I take the medium price, which is 586,000 Singapore dollars. Now, as you all know, you all need to pay 10% down payment before you all take the loan, right? So after you pay 10%, you will be left with 90% of balance payment that you need to take a loan with. Now let's assume that you are taking a loan with HDB. So I go to the HDB loan calculator. I put in 527,000, which is a 90 percent balance payment and i choose the longest repayment period which is 25 years and the interest rate of loan will be 2.6 percent if i'm using the cpf oa to pay i click accept i'll get the estimate monthly installment of 2391 singapore dollars so close to 2.4k and with 2.4k of cpf oa contribution you do not need to top up any more cash right because we try to keep everything within our budget so we don't need any cash outlay from our monthly income to top up for this monthly installment. So in order to get $2,400 of CPF OA to pay monthly, how much do you need for monthly income? So as you know from my CPF OA video, you would actually contribute around 23% of your monthly income towards your CPF ordinary account contributed by both your employer and yourself. And with that, your monthly income will be 2391 divided by 0 0.23 or 23%. You'll get the monthly income to be 10,400. Take note, this is the combined income between you and your partner. So as long as you and your partner can both come up with 10.4K, 
monthly income, then you can say that you can comfortably afford a four room flat at Ken Heights. Now, what if you are a salesperson or commission person with high bonuses in annual terms, right? So you just take 10.4K multiplied by 12, you get 125,000 Singapore dollars of annual income combined between you and your partner. So as long as you earn annually 125K combined, I think you are good. Now, this calculation is a very simplistic bread and butter calculation. It does not include any subsidy or grants or any taxes, buyer stamp duties and other costs associated with applying for the BTO. So you all have to do your own adjustments. Huh? I cannot do all the adjustments for you. I just provide a generic example of how you could afford the Ken Heights four room flats. So with that, I hope that you all have gained some knowledge and value from this Ken Heights sharing of the Kalang Wompo November 2021 BTO and have more information on how to apply for this as well. So if you have appreciated my effort, do help me comment a thank you in the comment section below. I'll greatly appreciate it and let's get back to the video. Alright, welcome back. So I hope that you have gained some value and learn more about your BTO site project. And here are the subscription rates as of today's end date. If you have found value from this analysis, do remember to give a like at the bottom of the video. It just takes one second of your time and it will be better if you subscribe to the channel and will be best if you share it to your friends as well. Also remember to join our Honey Money SG Telegram group where we go through such project details as well. My name is Christopher. This is Honey Money SG, steering young adults to financial independence.